Trinary Time Capsule by Jeffrey Scott Flesher, edition 2023, genre science fiction. I wrote this document on the eve of the end of time. It is about the three logical state changes in light that I call trinary, because Trinity has religion in it, and this is about trinary science. This trinary time capsule is being secured in a location that will survive the end of time, that Sir Isaac Newton calculated to be in the year 2060 under the Julian calendar. This documents why humans went extinct because they believed in the science of Einstein and did not think we would notice the poles reversing. I wrote this in case someone survives the atmosphere venting. It explains how everyone was wrong, except for the science of the Torah and the greatest wizards in history. Johannes Kepler, Sir Isaac Newton, Nikola Tesla, and Henrietta Swan Levitt. I added my theory about a trinary engine to explain what will happen when the North Magnetic Pole makes it to the equator in 2061, which is tomorrow, so I must secure this tonight. Woke up. When I woke up this morning, I knew I had a lot of work to do, having to document why humans will go extinct tomorrow. I spent all day working on a document that explains Newtonian science behind the pole reversal, which will happen tomorrow on my 100th birthday, on the 14th of January, 2061. I'm going to put this document in a trinary time capsule, in the hope, if anyone survives the pole reversal in 2061, they will know what will happen when the complete pole reversal takes place in 2103. I'm going over everything in my mind. I read all the notes I could find for Sir Isaac Newton. He calculated the end of time on the 25th of December 2060. But the Gregorian calendar changed his birthday from the 25th of December 1642 to the 4th of January 1643. Then they removed 10 days, which makes it the 14th of January. That is also my birthday but no one will celebrate it because tomorrow everyone is going to die. They finally figured out that I was right all these years. Now they are mad at me, and I do not understand why. Newton said someone would be born 100 years before the end of time, coming back as Jesus in the flesh. But no one believed in the Torah after the church admitted they altered it during the 4th century to bring back the Roman Empire under the name of the Holy Roman Church. Since that time, the church took over teaching the trinary science of God and things were getting better. Yet that is the reason Jesus did not return to the flesh, because everyone lost faith in Jesus bar Abbas because of religion. That is the reason everyone dies tomorrow, because no one would listen to me when I told them they had to build something that could survive the end of time. The Trinary Time Capsule is a digital storage unit the church commissioned to be built so everyone could upload their last words before the end of time. You can upload it in any language. It will automatically make multiple language versions of it so everyone can read them. They also translate them into a universal language. In case a different race finds it, they can translate what it says. Church membership slowly increased over the years. Now at the end of time, most people are now members. Most will save their souls in this trinary time capsule tonight, on the eve of the end of time. Once people found out that their soul is the electricity it takes to run their brain waves, they believed in Tesla, who said we are light beings. Tesla said Edison and J.P. Morgan were Satan for forcing people to buy and sell souls. And that makes those people who buy electricity satanic. After we die, we become electricity, and we can still have the same thoughts we have now, only we are not in our bodies. Instead, we are running everything electrical, and that is hell. Dead relatives come to visit you and they get put to work running your TV, computer, air conditioning. And then you charge a battery and their soul gets stuck in that battery, and when you are done with it, you throw it in the trash. That is the cost of electricity. You become Satan, sending the souls of dead people to hell. For centuries, people have talked about the return of Jesus, but they were looking for Jesus Christ and hated Jesus bar Abbas. But things changed after people knew Newton proved the church inserted Christ as a person. Instead of a star, we refer to it as the binary star Sirius. The church said it removed all pagan beliefs from the Torah, come to find out the pagans believed in science. Kepler wrote, God is everything. Tesla did not want to quote him, because that was the condensed version. Tesla wrote, Light is everything. Tycho Brahe was the first to figure this out. Kepler inherited the Torah after Tycho's death in 1601. Since 1103, witches and wizards were on the run from church members and Knights Templar, because of what was in it, which was pagan beliefs. Science comes from the Torah, the church commissioned to be removed from the face of the planet. 
the church gets 10% of members living, then does not pay taxes, and people pay them to alter the boys, they are part of a trillion dollar industry dealing with the dead, then they get their members to murder their enemies for free, knowing if they die, they make money from their bodies. The church had a huge paying gig going on. People pay them to teach them that God does not exist or is only the name of one of multiple angels we know as Satan. Church members and the Knights Templar, or anyone that is religious, take a secret vow that the church inserted, which states in Psalms 23 that all its followers must follow a shepherd. I am a military dog and have dog tags, saying I am a sheepdog. The dogs know the sheep had to take the mark of the beast known as a sheep, like you, proving that every religious person on the planet is satanic. I took the mark of the beast known as a dog, like flesh, that is me, and me is short for meat, and meat is just the flesh, also my name on the dog tags. When good is bad, and bad is good, everything is backward. Like the spell evil, it is backward for live. So with a dab of this, and one less, oh, Witchcraft is the reason the sheep did not notice the vow they must make, the vow their children must make because of them being satanic. They took an oath or vow to hunt down and murder all the witches and wizards in the world, because they did not believe the same as you, which is the belief in a deity god. Religion is a legalized army of mass murderers who openly admit this. Thus, admitting they are Satan by pretending to be Santa because all the sinners are saints? That is the reason you will have a tough time finding a copy of the Torah before the 4th century. But the church admits it removed pagan belief. Thus, you know, they admitted they destroyed the 3rd century version. The sad part is they did this to make money. God does not forgive or forget. God does not judge. <laughs>
and the Son is the negative one, and the Holy Ghost Spirit of Mother Nature is zero. We know one is a male identity, so zero is a female identity. And the reason the church altered it is the same way the church has the altar boys. But that is the past. The church stopped teaching religion and switched to trinary science. Teaching the science of God and people forgave the church and the church made up for years of oppression. Changes are slow, and that is the reason tonight people are uploading their souls. People are hoping they will go to heaven. Heaven is the magnetosphere, and the reason people that die want to go there. It keeps all life alive, but now it is an electrical trap. Einstein denounced his theory between the years 1938 and 1942 to keep Tesla from laughing at him and calling him mad. Every time a reporter asked Tesla what he thought about Einstein's theory, the ironic part is that Einstein told Tesla that it will not change things because people that do not believe in God will always choose a godless universe and a godless reality. Tycho Brahe had the Torah before the 4th century, so when Kepler asked him what the birth date of Jesus Christ was, Tycho made him take the Masonic Oath. I did not take that oath, so I can tell you what Kepler learned. The witches wrote the Torah using witchcraft, the art of using words and spells, which have more than one meaning. It recorded alchemy, astronomy, astrology, and other subjects we consider science, outlawed by the church. Christ was the star that aligned with the Great Pyramid yearly. Depending on what calendar you use, it is now on the 14th of January. On the page that defines God as all light without darkness, in the border artwork, is the math positive one plus negative one equals zero, and the sequences of 666. There was a circle with a circle inside it, the halo, but there is no person named Jesus Christ, and history proves that. When I was a child, I came up with the concept of Trinity engines. I later renamed them trinary engines. I define these as huge atoms that follow the same rules of electricity and electronics. The father was the positive one, so matter. The son was the negative one, so antimatter. And the Holy Ghost spirit of Mother Nature is zero, which is ground, which we call Earth. If we write the Father on paper and put heaven above the Father, we draw a zero under the Father for positive one. And below the zero, where positive one plus negative one equals zero, we write negative one for the sun and hell below the sun. This describes alternating current, and it takes electricity to make light. The way I view gravity working is like a balloon in water. If the water is moving like a stream, and nothing is holding the balloon, it will float, moving with the stream. And if you hold the balloon, it will not move, and the stream will move around it, putting pressure on the balloon as friction. If the balloon is large enough, it will drag the balloon and what is holding it through the water. Imagine the sun is the balloon, and it is so massive that the stream we call the universe is dragging it at a maximum speed of 666,666 miles per hour, and why it is on fire, and electrical plasma is fire. I warned people to never mix theoretical science with Newtonian science. The sun's electromagnetic force field, EMF, surrounds all the planets, moons, and space debris that orbit it. That keeps us from burning up, as the sun does. Gravity is the force that opposes us. The force is the constant for the big G for gravity, 6.666 times 10 to the negative 11th times newtons, which are 1 kilogram xm slash s2, where m is meters and kg is kilograms, times meters squared divided by kilograms squared, now times the mass of object 1 times the mass of object 2, divided by the distance between them squared. We know this as the gravitational constant. The stream never changes speeds, so if you imagine it flowing down to the earth, you will notice things will fall to earth at the same rate in a vacuum. In an atmosphere, aerodynamics take effect. This explains terminal velocity and how gravity works. A trinary engine is that balloon. It is a huge atom and follows all the same rules we know as electricity and electronics. This is what Levitt discovered in her understanding of how stars orbit the galaxy at the same rate, but not at the same speed. There are three pole reversal events, all happening on the same day, the 14th of January, and same time, 1832 hours military time, Pacific Standard Time. The end of time has three time periods, 2012, 2061, and 2103. In 2012, the North Magnetic Pole will head toward the equator, getting there in 2061. This will cause the magnetosphere to reverse its polarity 
because it will not allow two North Poles to occupy the same space. Our magnetic strength decay will hit zero. That causes the atmosphere to vent, and we can calculate how long that will take using trinary math. The magnetosphere takes one, 137th the size of the sun's diameter, which is 864,575.9 miles in diameter on average. Now we multiply it by 1 137th and divide that by our three valence rings to get around 2103 years. We take the hex of 66, which is 42, and minus that, from 2103 to get 2061 years. If we take the size of Earth, which is around 7,926.2109 on average at the center, multiply that by 1 137th and divide that by all nine valence rings. Gives us 6.42 minutes. But 42 is the hex for the decimal 66. So, it is 6.66 minutes maximum. And the minimum time is 3.33 minutes. This is the same math for atoms. Only you use a different multiplier. This will cause our atmosphere to vent into space, blowing satellites and space debris with it. As the Earth loses gravity, which is the magnetosphere. Because without it, Earth becomes the negative end of a magnet and will create negative gravity. That means everything will float for 3.33 minutes, rising 6.66 feet off the surface of the planet. Then comes crashing down when the negative g-forces take effect for the next 3.33 minutes. That means tons of frozen atmosphere, satellites, and space debris, including any asteroids or meteorites that are close enough to our gravity. So hope we do not have any large ones near. With the lack of ozone, people will burn and freeze at the same time, while having little to no protection from micrometeorites. They cannot grow food, and the lack of food will cause many species to go extinct. The North Magnetic Pole started its journey in 2012 when the end of time began. Then it moved to the equator in 2061 and crossed zero degrees. We know zero as the Holy Ghost Spirit of Mother Nature. The number zero is the Holy Ghost. It is a whole. Even the word whole has an O in it to express the concept. This is where all the electricity goes to the ground. And that means the light is going to the ground. Which means God is going to the ground. So you have no force for gravity. In 2103, the North Magnetic Pole will reach its last position, and Earth will complete its pole reversal. That will cause the physical poles to align and some continental displacement, bringing major earthquakes to a frozen planet. There are 137 elements in the periodic table of elements. I know this because there are 137 receptor sites around atoms. To be complete, in my other books, I will list all the atoms from 1 to 136 to describe protons. Neutrons and electrons will be zero. One major change to the table is that I will add an element I call trinary to the table of elements. Trinary has zero protons, so its atomic number is zero. The galaxy sun, planets, and moons all use this one element to make the trinary engine. It is an element because it is the smallest unit that makes up trinary electrons or trinary engines. It is a neutrino particle. Every element on the table accounts for the atom's neutrino particles in mass or atomic weight. People cannot get Einstein's theory out of their minds, so they believe light can be dynamic. We know it is not because if it were, a flashlight would be lethal and act like a rocket. We see light because an electron will switch between positive one and negative one and pass through the ground while switching every time. That causes its neutrino to collapse, and then you can see the light inside the electron. It has zero dimensions in the zero space, or ground. The positive and negative cycles exist in the first, second, and third dimensions of space. Ground has no dimensions for light to move, making light static, and why it is not lethal or a rocket. Only people that do not believe in God believe light can be dynamic. People that value truth over superstition or a desire to live in a universe or reality that does not have God in it will figure out that God is the truth. People cannot understand Kepler, Newton, or Tesla because they were all on the high-functioning spectrum of autism. In 2000, my father called me for my birthday for the first time in my life. He told me my grandmother hid my IQ scores from everyone after she was told of my results. My father's test scores in high school were the highest in the world, and his results got published in the newspaper, and it destroyed my father. He died the next month. You would think a high IQ was a good thing. But like Albert Einstein, an IQ over 160 means you are autistic, and normal people hate us. 
the Air Force informed me that my scores on the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, ASVAB, were 99% in mechanical, which is rare. It means they cannot use that test to evaluate my IQ, because it was over 180, making people like Einstein less intelligent. If you thought there were people more intelligent, you should know the scale stops at 180. So how could there be? But I didn't need a high IQ to understand Kepler, Newton, Tesla, or Levitt, who all had IQs off the chart. I needed it to finish the work they started. There are many people in the world today that have IQs over 180. All of them are autistic and most of them are females, so I am rare, because I made the correlation with Trinity and science, which no one had since Tesla died. I know I prove my trinary science is correct, which really makes normal or neurotypical people mad at me. They dislike the way Kepler, Newton, or Tesla wrote. And the reason they never understood them, or Einstein would not be popular. If you remove all the things the universe is not, what remains is what it is. The trinary universe is driven by trinary atoms and trinary engines. The Earth has a core frequency of 6.66 Hz, which drives it to orbit the Sun on average 66,666 miles per hour. It is how I do my math that confuses you. This is numerology from the Torah the Church removed because it was a pagan belief. The pagans in the Torah differ from those that exist nowadays. Pagans believed God was all light without darkness and believed God was science. People who were pagans were not normal people. They were all autistic. And normal or neurotypicals hated them. Some things never change. Pagan meant the same thing as Aspie. That term, normal people think, is degrading, or not politically correct, saying, I should say someone who is on the high-functioning spectrum of autism. That is like, instead of saying God, I should say all light without darkness. The pagans nowadays are a cult, only into making money, and teach a belief system or BS in spirits. The energy we use up takes away from our magnetosphere. The generators we use are siphoning off the magnetosphere, thus making it decay at a faster rate. I did not account for this effect in my calculations, nor did Newton. I have no way of knowing if this will cause the end of time to come sooner. If the use of electrical power should ever be greater than the magnetosphere requirements, the magnetosphere will collapse, venting the atmosphere into space. There are safer ways to use electricity, but that would require technology we do not yet have. We designed Trinary Sanctuary to build this type of technology. The Sanctuary is a Masonic society of military and militia members. Connected to this country are the oasis and outlander cities where the world's population will live. The size of the land that the government allows the Trinary Sanctuary to own, tax-free, is part of the contract Trinary Sanctuary makes with the military. The optimal size is 66 miles in diameter in the shape of a circle. That size allows for 33 miles to be used to build the pyramid, and 33 miles to build the inter-ring where Trinary Military will live. Outside of this ring will be Trinary Sanctuary Oasis, where the government and federal employees, both active duty and retired, will live. Oasis allows laws and money, but no religion. The land for Oasis is owned by the government, and they cannot charge to live there. This is a retirement home for all federal employees. Oasis means to owe, and everyone we owe a life lives here. Outside of Oasis are the Outlanders. This is mainstream cities, unlike Oasis, which was built by Trinary Militia. We build Outlanders using paid labor, but the construction must pass Trinary Sanctuary's building code. Imagine the facility when it is complete. It has a pyramid that we build using 1,000-foot square blocks. Each is one step. You finish the base first, depending on how tall you want to go. You must figure out how steep you want the steps to be. I would recommend building it as wide as you can. 33 miles is a large foundation. The pyramid has eight sides. You have a base that looks like four sides, but each of the four sides has an inward angle. The Great Pyramid has eight sides. Most do not notice this feature. The contract Trinary Sanctuary makes is simple. They will be required to produce enough power to supply all the demands of the complex. Any resource sold will pay down the national debt. Farming, ranching, and other agricultural areas will separate every section of a ring. They must produce enough food to feed the sections. Trinary ensures that they can produce enough food, water, air, and power for the complex. That includes Oasis and Outlanders in case of crop failure. 
the concept of a contract is to ensure both parties benefit equally. The concept of trinary is to be self-sufficient. After that, we are required to produce an excess of everything we produce. We give this to the trinary military, who makes sure the military gets this and does with it what they need to pay down the national debt. Governments around the world cannot pay off their debt, and unless Trinary Sanctuary steps up and does its duty, the governments will fail. We must ensure Trinary Sanctuary has no laws governing them. This is the whole reason for Trinary is to be free, and laws are the opposite of freedom, meaning they are freedom. Freedom comes at a cost because resources are not free. We make sure the contract states we allow Trinary free access to resources. That is critical. Without free access to resources, Trinary cannot build anything. Trinary society will have to write a contract. That is not my job. I'm just a messenger that no one listened to. Masons My family were Masons as far back as I can trace my lineage. Some of the most famous people are Masons, Adam and Eve's children, Jesus Barabbas, Noah, Moses, Kepler, Newton, and Tesla. My fifth first cousin, Isaac Newton Flesher, was Ashkenazi. That runs in our family lineage. We name our children after dead relatives. Ashkenazi come from three tribes. The Ash is white. The Ke are gray, meaning between white and dark. And the Nazi is dark. The Torah said this lineage is from Adam, who is white, and Eve, whose very name means darkness, as in evening. Eve's father is Seth, and we know he is dark. I am a descendant of Adam and Eve. But my family never traveled through the Caucasus Mountains, so we are not Caucasian. We came to North America in the 1600s, and the Flesher tribe in 1752, on board a ship named the Phoenix as magnetic navigators, and set with the ship's captain. We changed our last name by removing the IC, converting it from German into English. This makes us Native Americans, and have served in every war the United States has ever waged. This type of society is called a secret society. If you check my DNA, you will find all three tribes. That is the secret of this society. You cannot identify us by the color of our skin, because around the world, and at various times, those colors have accounted for everyone on the planet. Our contribution to science and art is the autistic people of the Ashkenazi race. There are many types of Masons, even Freemasons, that only give the first three degrees for free. Then you pay for the rest, and why there are over 33 of them. We have the Illuminati, and the list goes on. The foundation of the United States is Masonic. Most of all the groups, or lodges, are good. The bad ones are the ones you need to watch out for, because some of those are bad to the bone. I enlisted in the military in 1985, and medically retired in 1999. That was before the 911 event in 2001. What you need to know about Masons is that we do things with precision, using a square and compass. Search the internet for pictures people took of the 911 event. People like photojournalist Rick Wood and others. Look for ones that show the two towers, where a Boeing 767 hit each tower. If you watch the videos, you will notice when the aircraft should contact the building, nothing happens, as if the aircraft is ghosting into it. If you watch it frame by frame, you will notice the aircraft does not get damaged, nor does the building. It did not break one window. We know common sense would state otherwise. Proving this is a fake video event. The images of the holes could not be fake because everyone could see them. There are pictures of a woman and a dog standing in the hole in the WTC-2 building, proving no aircraft flew into it. There are pictures of WTC-1 with people still sitting at their desks. We know this is a fake event. Then you can look at the close-up images of the holes and see the holes do not penetrate the building. There are still connections to the panels that make up the face of the building. And then you have these straight lines burned through the building that are not part of the collision, proving they are thermite demolition. Then we have WTC-9, which collapsed because they scared it to death. There is no other logical explanation. If you want proof, pull the radar. It will show that no aircraft flew in that state because we ordered them to shut down. And we know the reason. We know this because of aircraft parts that came from the wrong type of aircraft. We can find images taken from the Pentagon's security cameras, and we know from the sizes of those holes that a 757 did not make them, but they are the size of a drone. 
So we know why they shut down the radar, and we know this is not legal, and we know you cannot make treason legal. You cannot amend the Constitution to allow for treason. You cannot make it treason to take back a corrupt government because, ironically, that is treason. But we know who enforces the laws? We know you cannot find aircraft parts from the correct type of aircraft in Pennsylvania. They show pictures of the wrong parts, as if we are too stupid to notice. They brought the World Trade Center buildings down with thermite demolition. There are countless images on the internet showing the beams that were cut at perfect angles, and sections removed showed the same evidence. The tail section of a 767 is stronger than the wings, yet they did not make a scratch on both towers because they did not rig the tail to go off. They would have to tamper with too many floors. The science behind these fake events does not work, regardless of what people tell you. The Oklahoma fertilizer-shaped bombs that exploded in a perfect 360-degree pattern did not damage the surrounding road, and only damaged one building around it, according to a report, and could not have caused any damage to it from that distance. This proves that these people are lazy, or they wanted everyone to know it was fake, and that they can get away with murder because those people died, and there is no statute of limitations for murder. Read the following from the U.S. Code of Federal Law Title 12, Chapter 3, Subchapter 9, Subsection 341. From https semicolon slash slash use code dot house dot gov slash view dot xhtml question mark pa thequals slash prelim at title 12 slash chapter 3 slash sub each after 9 and addition equals prelim. First, to adopt and use a corporate seal. Dollar that is a U and an S, superimposed on top of each other. Proving that the U.S. is all about treasonous money, it is the very icon of it. Second, to have succession after the 25th of February 1927 until dissolved by act of Congress or until forfeiture of franchise for violation of the law. That states, the Federal Reserve uses the United States as a franchise, like a 7-Eleven. In 1933, they dissolved Congress, who then stole all the gold in the country using the Gold Act of 1933 which was enacted by Executive Order 6102, thus forfeiting the country. It filed for bankruptcy in 1933, and we are still running under that status, since we cannot make the interest payment. As proof, the national debt. Third, to make contracts. They number all Masonic orders, and the first three are always free, and that is where the term Freemason came from. During the Civil War, the bank made a contract with the North and the South, funding both sides, not caring who won, because everyone lost the country to money, and now we cannot pay off the loan, we cannot even make the interest payment. Fourth, to sue and be sued, complain and defend in any court of law. That is the game, Sue, because they own the courts, judges, lawyers, police, and military. There is no reason to read the other four. This is an endgame event. They print the money everyone works for. I learned this in jail for having a PTSD attack in my home, because I did not know that was illegal. While in jail, they denied me the right to make a phone call. Then they denied me the right to medical treatment. Causing the removal of my gallbladder in 2018, they removed my descending colon in 2017. So this is karma, proving the judges, lawyers, and police enforce treason. I'm not telling you this to get back at the police. Rather. I found out about this code for the first time, and I am paying it forward. People need to think smarter and never protest. Never think you can join groups or vote for anything to change, because the burning bush told you it is treason to take back this corrupt country. They suspended the United States Constitution in 1933, but we lost it on the 14th of January. 1861, 100 years before I was born, the last president to have Congress print money was John F. Kennedy who took office six days after I was born. It is fitting the 14th of January should be the date for extinction. No one wanted to listen to me, and now that they know it is going to happen, they are mad at me. We know from history that Sir Isaac Newton would teach empty classrooms, because he had an obligation to teach classes. But people only knew about a deity god, and not the god from the Torah. Newton would explain that the deity god is Satan, if the students would not get it, he would send them away, saying he cannot teach mad sheep. They are too stupid to educate. I feel the same way because society never changes. Newton was part of the Royal Society, 
where he had a run-in with a crook by the name of Hook, who, like Leibniz, society became a breeding ground for people who believed they could steal others' work. With the case of Hook, after he left, Newton burned his portrait and had all his work put into storage. With Leibniz, he knew he did not invent calculus, but he could not divulge who had the third-century Torah, because the church would have him discredited, like Galileo Galilei. For the same reason Galileo had it and wanted to tell the world, but the church would not allow it. And they would not allow Newton, and they will not allow me. But I have cancer and do not care, and why I am not afraid to rock the boat. What people need to do is figure out if everything I told them is the truth, but do not expect to use the internet, or ask people what they think. You need to use the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, if you cannot trust your government to answer simple requests. You are in trouble. And you can ask NASA what they think our current magnetic strength decay rate is, and I would expect them to tell you around 5% per century. You can search the internet to figure out when Sir Isaac Newton calculated the end of time. I would expect in 2060 under the Julian calendar. If you are a Mason, you can ask Masons that you know. Not sure about taking a poll, but it might not hurt, and might raise the level of awareness. Figuring out what is the truth that I'm writing about is not that hard if you use your common sense and try to understand some of the basic math, like the formula, positive one, plus, negative one, equals zero. I do not mean my math to be confusing, but this is an ancient math principle from before the first century, dating back before they wrote the Torah. This math describes alternating current, AC, and direct current, DC, as well as the orbits of all heavenly bodies and all life in the universe. It is our brainwave, so this is the math for our soul. You might recognize the formula plus or minus fx equals zero. That is the foundation for calculus. The equal to zero means that the equation is always in balance. All it does is switch from positive to negative around the number zero where they are equal, proving the truth table and function derived from the trinity, or trinary math, positive one plus negative one equals zero. I have no plans to take back the Constitution, because I work for the military to ensure that does not happen. But I have a better plan. It is called trinary. Trinary. When I was a child, I started having recurring nightmares about an octopus grabbing me on a beach because my drug addict parents were not watching me. When the tide would pull back from the shore at its farthest point, I saw an octopus and wanted to run out there and get it. I thought it was just a matter of running fast enough, but halfway out there I realized I had no clue what I was running on, but it was alive. I got to the octopus, and just as I was going to grab it, the tide came back, and I had to run, but before I could the octopus grabbed me. We both got dragged out farther from shore. I could only breathe when I could get back to the surface. Somehow, I got back to shore, but the octopus was gone. I've always thought the octopus, or maybe a dolphin, got me back to shore. Funny how memories are when you were a child, looking back at them as an adult, as if my parents drugged me. In my nightmare, I am sitting at the beach alone at night, and the octopus calls me, and I go into the tide, and find a dolphin waiting. I grabbed onto the dolphin as the octopus wrapped its arms and head around my head. I noticed I could see and breathe. After swimming for hours, we came to a vent at the bottom of the ocean. We swam past layers of earth and got to a shell. It had passages leading to other layers, and we swam to each, until we reached the bottom of the passages. I saw a layer that was water, one that was oil, another with magma, and then the Trinity engine. My view of the earth has never changed from that moment on. I took this as a vision, with no other way to explain the details I see things in. I have had variations of the same nightmares. These are comparable to what Kepler, Newton, and Tesla wrote. So, more likely, I had these nightmares because of reading about theirs, and only added in the octopus and dolphin because of my experiences. As a child, I knew Halley said our magnetic strength was decaying at a rate it would hit zero when Newton said it was the end of time. Newton calculated it under the Julian calendar using Halley's data to be 2060. Growing up, no one believed me, so I gave up talking about it. NASA concluded after over a century of extensive study of the magnetic strength of Earth that it is decaying at a constant rate of around 5% per century. 
Edmund Halley sailed the open seas to get magnetic measurements around the world, where others have not charted, and concluded that is the reason they reset the calendar. Newton wrote about dreams or nightmares, depending on how you feel about them. Newton's dreams were about the Great Pyramid, and soon my nightmares became a new world to live in. I was standing in the desert, and looked around me, and noticed that I was alone, expecting to see Newton, but turning around only to see a pyramid. I heard waves, like I was a child back at the beach, and knew I had to run. I got to the door and opened it, and everyone I had ever thought about in my lifetime ran through the door. My family was last, then I knew I was out of time, and slammed the door shut. Turning slowly, I see a wave thousands of feet tall. I spotted an octopus and ran to catch it, but it caught me first. This time we took a different heat vent at the bottom of the ocean. As we dove for the bottom, I could see the water behind me freezing over, and I knew I could not swim up to get another breath. We dove faster and faster, trying to get ahead of the freezing ice. When we got to the bottom, I saw a spacecraft, and we got inside. We flew around the world and saw trinary sanctuary pyramids around the world. I saw signs they were still building. I could imagine going into them, but like all dreams, I must wake up. Newton imagined building pyramids, as did Kepler. Only his vision used a square box, a pyramid, and a sphere, so I went with his plan. I designed a military project I called Trinary Sanctuary. The concept is you build a sphere inside another sphere and build a box around them that is 1,000 feet square. All the boxes are steps to a giant pyramid. You stack them 66 wide and 16 tall. That is 66,000 feet wide and 16,000 feet tall, around 13 miles wide and 3 miles high. You can build them as wide as you want, but you have a limit on how many you can stack. We do not stack the boxes on each other. Instead. You build a frame that supports them from the ground. You build as many floors as you want inside of the spheres, depending on the height of the floors and what you want to use them for, residential, farming, ranching, manufacturing, and other purposes. Kepler called it harmony of the world, but Newton called it a sanctuary. I call it trinary sanctuary. Amazing that Kepler and Newton had these dreams, but me and Tesla both read about them before having them. So it was not the same, and mine were the only dreams that had octopus in them. I would feel gravity in my dreams, which is scary. They sent me to countless sleep studies where they never detected rapid eye movement, REM, sleep. I have periodic limb movement, PLM. This means I move in my dreams, my limbs move in my sleep. That is why I feel gravity. In my dreams, we build each square block as a pod. The name pod is because in my dreams, these would grow underwater. When the world froze over, these spaces were where people lived. The concept is the same for a pod of dolphins. In my dreams, we had to save all the ocean life and land life. We have birds, bats, insects, as well as plants, trees, and anything that can freeze to death. I have a few hours before I need to upload this document. It will also make an audiobook using a clone of my voice. I'm going to be 100 years old tomorrow at 6.32 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I have my gravestone ready. It has my full name, which is Jeffrey Scott Flesher, but my legal name, the one I sign my name with, is Flesh. When you get to be 99 years old and can remember who you are and who those around you are, you are doing well. When I was younger, I had a lot of promising ideas, but... No one would listen to me, because I was a nobody. So I thought maybe I could make videos about my dreams and nightmares. I called it the light wizard in the flesh, thinking that people would understand. All I learned is people call me crazy for believing that God is the force of gravity, telling me light is dynamic. I tell them to prove it, knowing they cannot. All they can say is, everyone knows that. When we know light has no acceleration, Proving people do not think deep or clear, which is something like what Tesla said, but not a quote, but a paraphrase. I do that a lot the older I get. The quotes become distant memories like galaxies long gone. I thought that if I told people that God is all light without darkness, it would change their lives, but could not undo the damage that religion has done. People only know a deity God and will always believe that is God. I renamed God by using the prefix trinary 
So, I could say trinary God. But those that were religious, or their parents were, will never change. They believe they are the same. I have these sessions with my wife, she says. My light or her God are both the same. And she is Catholic, so she tells me there was a real person named Jesus Christ in history. I told her to prove it. Then I prove Kepler and Newton proved the church inserted Jesus Christ into the Torah as a person to make Jesus Barabbas out to be the sinful man for losing the war against the Jews. But he destroyed the Roman Empire by telling the soldiers that money is slavery. His story is a different story. The Torah before the 3rd century did not have Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ does not exist in history. That is not an opinion but a fact. It is also in the public domain. It is a well-documented fact the Church could not get around, and why they switched to teaching the Trinity, or trinary science of God. When I told people that God was the force of gravity, that is, the light inside atoms, I thought this would change their lives. Again, nothing, no lights turned on. When we talk about math, it is F equals MA, where the mass is the neutrino particles and light without darkness or trinary God. After I explained to them that gravity is like floating inside a balloon, you go with the flow. Earth is a huge electromagnetic ball. It has static light inside it, and the universe is dragging it through space. A falling body will reach terminal velocity because of this dragging effect. Earth orbits the sun, like atoms orbit, a proton, or a neutron. Our body, like other objects in the world, has a frequency. If we free fall from space in a metal sphere, the metal would increase its frequency until the metal turned blue, then red. If we do not slow it down, we will hit at terminal velocity if we do not burn up first. The sphere will burn up before it hits Earth, but its mass will still hit Earth, only as molten material or ash, as micrometeorites. If we jumped out of a plane flying at 10,000 feet, our acceleration to Earth stops after the first 90 feet. That is called terminal velocity of 120 miles an hour. I tell people, and they say, so what? And tell me Einstein was right. The reason humans will go extinct is that they are ignorant and lazy. They are ignorant because they believed in theory, knowing it is not a fact. All because they believe they have the unwritten right to believe what they want, because that means they have the unwritten right to believe in lies. Those lies are why humans are ignorant. The concept of static light is simple. Take a flashlight and turn it on. Notice the light does not move, but the flashlight moves. Because it is on Earth, which orbits the Sun, which orbits the galaxy, which orbits the universe. You may not feel like we are moving fast, but we are moving at what we call the speed of light, which is an ignorant term since light is static. The light is being pulled away from its source and not being shot out of it. Gravity is a pulling effect and not a pushing effect. You do not fall to the Earth, you are being pulled to the ground. Trinary light means God, because God is all light without darkness, and we find this inside of atoms. Trinary means the three logical state changes in light. Those changes are light, dark, and invisible. As proof, if we look at atoms under an electron microscope, we see an atom when it is bright, dull, and invisible. I designed Trinary Sanctuary to be a military project. My concept is that we work as a country called Trinary Sanctuary. This is a pyramid built with 1,000 square foot blocks called a step. The inside is called a pod. I modeled this after the work of Kepler on the harmony of the world. It contains dual spheres. The shape is to prevent it from collapsing. We need post-tension concrete, so you have four sides, creating an eight-sided pyramid. That requires post-tension bolts that tighten from all sides. Labor must be free because there's not enough money in the world to build it. Most people will not work for free, but I only designed this for people 18 years old or younger who have never had to work before. The Trinary Sanctuary program will begin once the military for any country around the world accepts the contract between Trinary Sanctuary and the outside communities. The first three generations will have it the hardest, having to unlearn what they have learned up to this date and learn the new ways of Trinary. They must prioritize the order they build the section, or rings. They must complete the trinary military ring first. 
It is temporary housing while the pyramid is being constructed. The section divides areas into separate rings. These can be food, but every other one must be a road with a train tunnel. This arrangement is analogous to a spoked wheel that allows for ease of access to critical areas like hospitals. This will be a new society with no rules, only goals, and ways of getting things done safely. Those old ways of doing things will not work here. Their technology will not work here. They must make their own technology. The parents will want to tell you how they would do it, and the grandparents will have to tell you how they would do it. But their ways will not work here. This will make it hard for the first three generations. After that, this will operate at a significantly better pace of life. The bulk of the labor is building machines. These are robotic, but have a person in charge of operating it through a remote control. The job of building using 3D concrete printing while assembling the pods and post-tension plates means everything has to run according to a computer program. If people want to survive the end of time, they will have to build these, but not build them for that reason. The reason you want to build them is for a better life for everyone. Trinary engineers design the facility to be environmentally friendly. It must last a long time, so they design it to be maintained. The military should take the Trinary Sanctuary Project because they know it is the only way to pay down the national debt while slashing the military budget once the manufacturing facilities are complete. Trinary military will take over the production of all military systems. They will design systems that go beyond what current weapons manufacturers are capable of. The military will have trinary military and militia build a new base for them. These are hardened complexes designed to survive war and an ice age. Politicians will want to make this deal because they know this project is the best plan anyone has. The military oversees the project so we know it will get done. They create trinary military and militia and train them on how to build this complex. The Federal Reserve only cares about making money, and the less they spend on labor, the more they can build and make more money. If you pay to have it built, someone else will own it, and people will lose interest in building a prison, and the project will die. Trinary Sanctuary belongs to the people who live there. This is their home, and it will be their children's home, and they will own it just as must as everyone that lives there. Ownership means pride, and those that build it will build for themselves. Money will not matter to them, because what they are building is more precious than money. It is a way to survive an ice age. The military and trinary military are the only people in the complex we allow to have weapons. They have an armory and a firing range. Anyone that we allow to use firearms can use the firing range. There are age limits for firing some weapons, but they have weapons for all ages. Everyone in the complex, we allow them the right to use a weapon at the firing range until they do something that would take away that privilege. When I say complex, it means trinary sanctuary, which is only the pyramid. The trinary military ring includes active duty military and militia from any country contributing to the trinary program. Then we have trinary oasis, which is the federal ring for both active and retired, and the outlanders ring, where everyone in the world can live. Trinary military does not allow people to check out firearms. They only allow them to use them at the firing range, and they have outdoor hunting trips you can join. Trinary does not allow suicide or homicide. We train people to use weapons and allow them to use weapons the way we constructed them to be used. Once the pyramid has one pod, it must have floors for food, medical, and manufacturing. We will tool them to manufacture everything they need to survive. The second pod should be for food, medical, and residents that work here. The third pod is manufacturing, medical, and residents that work here. And the fourth will be residential, medical, and food. An advanced society requires a new form of indoor entertainment. So the fifth pod needs to be for entertainment. The sixth pod needs to be for residents of large families, food, medical, and recreation. The pods need to be soundproof and vibration-free. We must ensure we isolate all machines from the floor it sits on. Every room must have as close to no noise as possible and must contain any noise anyone makes. The floors must be able to adjust for level should an earthquake put it out of level. I would build levelers that can level 32 feet of floor. The pods can have floors that are 10, 20, or 32 feet tall. We must level the plumbing and electrical with the floors. 
The floors all meet in the center of the sphere, where the elevators were located. I would build train tunnels that connect the pods, 64 feet in diameter. I would have 10, 16, and 32-foot tunnels for trains, and 10-foot tunnels for water, air, power, and network. Tunnels must be inside a tunnel to allow maintenance of the tunnels. All tunnels must be watertight. All pipes carrying water must be inside another pipe. There must be enough room between the pipes for a track for robotic welders that can repair damaged pipes. The equipment used to repair pipes must be able to work underwater. You need to have a water pump line and a mechanical way to cup where you need to weld and remove the water inside the cup. The water coming in may overpower the pump, so you need to hold the pressure, preventing as much water flow as possible. Welding underwater has its problems. I would suggest you heat both sides of the area you need to weld to the proper welding temperature before welding and slowly bring the heat down so you do not get cracks. The type of work required by robotics proves we need new technology to deal with situations in which we must deal. I could list these situations, but what would be the point? You need to design them to work underwater, in space, and dry, which is preferable. Humans operate all trinary robots. You have routines it runs, but a human must be able to see what the robot is doing and be in control of it and responsible for what it is doing. You need the ability to x-ray the weld. You must drill holes to stop cracks. There are so many things you need to know about welding and repairing tunnels. Trinary Sanctuary requires special robotics to build this complex. They need to design and manufacture all the robotics it requires. They need robots that can build robots. There will need to be people inspecting everything the robots do, including building robots. The labor required to build Trinary Sanctuary is high-tech, people that can work with robotics. The energy used to power all the devices must be as energy-friendly as possible. This means you cannot allow electronic components to overheat. This means we build CPUs to be more energy conservative than overheating due to how fast we want to push its clocking. We cannot push people any more than we can machine. I only have an hour before I need to upload this file. I have uploaded every book I have ever written, and that is too many to count right now. Yet I need to talk about what should have happened instead of what happened. What happened is people could not convert from a deity god to a trinary god. Most of them thought they were the same when I told them they were complete opposites. For example, a deity god does not physically exist, which is the complete opposite of light without darkness that physically exists inside all the atoms in our universe. A deity. God has a deity son named Jesus Christ, who never existed in history, because the church inserted Jesus Christ. Before the church had to admit to doing anything wrong, they announced that they would teach Trinity God and would not talk about religion. Satan sucked up the souls of people that confused religion for the belief in God. If you leave off the prefix, we lose track of what God we are talking about. The prefix trinary changes everything because it defines words and spells. People might get annoyed if you keep having to prefix everything with trinary or trinity. As far as terms go, light and darkness is already confusing enough. Trinary light means three logical state changes in light. That type of light we cannot see. We only see the colors that are in the rainbow of colors in the white light. White as an input has every shade of gray from black to white. If I say light, we have no clue what that even means to anyone. The church was the first to change to trinity or trinary science. The reason was that they knew it did not change the Torah from the 4th century. They knew I did not use any other reference to the Torah before the 4th century other than its artwork on the border of pages and not the content of those pages other than artwork. This proves I did not need to alter the Torah to explain what it said. The church agreed we can interpret the artwork, but some believe they are just art and that we can all agree. That meant the church could keep using the same Torah and Bibles and explain that Christ is the star we know as the binary star Sirius and Jesus Barabbas was the only Jesus in the Torah for the transition into writing new Torah and new Bibles based on it. The church membership took off faster than they could have expected. I remember when the Trinity, or Trinary Time Capsule, went online. I uploaded my books to it. Education changed once the church got back to teaching the science of God, with the highest degrees. I finally got an accredited degree. 
the church's schools became so popular that they forced the public education system to shut down. The Pope and all the leaders of major churches around the world announced that the church only sanctions Trinity or Trinary science. The church all used Trinity, whereas people that did not want attachments to the church chose Trinary. But not everyone was pleased, because those that did not believe in God still wanted to believe in Einstein's theories, because of the unwritten right to believe what you want. Mainstream had to decide which way to go, but knew if it took Einstein's side, the church would cut them off. The citizens did not care. It was no big deal to them, because they believe a deity god and trinity or trinary god are the same. I must point out, the Torah still says they are sheep, because some things never change. The Masons never had to change, because the ones at the top all knew this, because most of what I had to say you can find in the Torah or public domain. People still hate Jesus Barabbas, which is something the church could not undo, but they tried. We can say the same for people that did not believe God existed or who believed in the theory of Einstein. One thing I can prove, and that is education does not remove prejudice. These prejudiced people believe in unwritten rights. For example, the unwritten right to believe what they want. Think about the two sides of this coin. On one side we have the truth. I will call this heads. On the other side, I will call it chasing your tail. This side has the unwritten right to believe what we want, because no matter what anyone teaches you, you will not believe it, which is fine if they are liars. So we agree no one has a right to teach anyone anything. This side of this coin has a 50 50 chance they pick the truth. This coin is uneven because one side is a random chance they could guess the truth. What are the odds that type of thinking will get people through an ice age? This is a question only fools would ask. People who believe they have rights will never give up their unwritten rights, because you cannot erase those, because they are a dream, the core of who they are. That one thing in life, they thought, was the truth. We cannot change them, because they must always be right. I have no rights because laws bind me. I only believe what I can prove is true. A theory is not a way of explaining a fact. It is a way of lying about them. Trinity or trinary math is as simple as positive 1 plus negative 1 equals 0, which is a truth table and a formula, plus or minus f of x equals 0. Newton called it calculus. This is the one formula that rules them all. When I was a child, I would stare into space. I never grew out of that habit. If you are in the moment, you will notice white noise everywhere in your vision once you learn to focus your eyes so you can see it. Everything changes. Maybe for some that did not know it all. Our attitude creates the reality we live in. What is wrong or what is right is only the mood we are in. Laws do not make us right and rarely leave us left. My parents and school would force me to be right-handed, but I was born left-handed in a right-handed world. There are always things that confuse me, like left and right. The port is on the left side and the starboard is always right. The white noise is trinary energy and it talks to you and you can see it around your head space, as others can see yours around your head. You see theirs, it is a halo. Once you see this darkness in the light, you cannot unsee it. This is the magnetosphere. Once you understand God is the force of gravity, and God is all light without darkness, you only need to know it takes electricity to make light. We know the fastest way to get from hell below earth to heaven above is to ride the white lightning. Our attraction to Earth is the ground. We jump from an elevated place, and we fall at a known rate. Objects will fall at a rate of 9.80666 meters per second per second. If we fall 10 feet, we will hit the ground at around 17 miles an hour. At 90 feet, we achieve a terminal velocity of around 120 miles per hour. Tomorrow, on the 14th of January 2061, the magnetic countdown reaches zero. The magnetosphere will go from 93.6% to 0%, and the magnetosphere will reverse its polarity, because we cannot have two north magnetic poles in the same space. We will lose our gravity for 6.66 minutes, as our atmosphere vents into space. Then we wait for the sky to fall, having had a micrometeorite hit me in the head, even with a police report like Chicken Little, no one believed me. I am going to upload now, that is all I had to say. I hope whoever finds this understands it. If we only know what we can prove to be the truth, 
we will only know the truth. The truth is not complex, nor is the universe. Trinary God is all light without darkness. That is truth.